Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to take our folder and file hiding one step further with Sublime Text, and we're going to take this out of the project and put it into our user settings. Now, this is great because you notice in here we had some Drupal specific things, right? We wanted to hide the txt files, we wanted to hide cron.php, and we wanted to hide profiles miscellaneous. However, there's some more global files that we want to hide. Uh, in fact, we never want to see these git files, we never want to see these sas cache or these underscore files or ds store. We and pretty much, I can't think of a project where I'd want to see any of those files in this column. So you might be thinking, do I have to add these to every single project every time? And you don't. You can actually add these to your user settings. So it's really easy, of course. Um, and I'm first going to just copy these because I'm going to be editing it later. And before I copy this, I'm going to delete some of this stuff out of here, um, pretty much the stuff that's non-Drupal specific. So. Just like that, I'm just going to leave the Drupal specific folders we want to hide. And okay, so now uh, we have that stuff back. And it doesn't look like we uh, had like a .git folder here or anything like that. Um, so now to illustrate this, I'm really going to just uh, create a new folder. And this is just going to be a folder named test. And you can see this folder shows up here. And we're going to add this test folder to our users settings so that uh, we can see this disappear as well. Because I don't have Git enabled on this project and I'm not using SAS, so we can't obviously use those as examples. So to get to our user settings, we can come to Sublime Text, Preferences, and then Settings for User. Notice if you edit Settings for Default, when you update Sublime Text or anything like that, they're going to get overridden. So you're going to want to put your settings into this settings file. Okay, so now we see basically a, an object, right? Uh, an object basically just has the base font size of 32. And now in here, we just want to add the same things that we added to our project file. So I'm going to add a comma here. And the things we're adding are folder exclude patterns if you didn't watch the last video, and file underscore exclude underscore patterns. When then we have a colon, and then within brackets, we're putting in the types of files we want to exclude. Notice how I have a comma after each line except for the last one because this is a, a JavaScript object. So again, I'm going to delete the Drupal related stuff and just leave the non Drupal related stuff this time and say, we want on every single project we do, we don't want to see git folders, we don't want to see sas cache folders, ds store files, or anything like that. And in here, just to prove, I'm going to add this test folder as well. Now I'm going to save this file, and you'll notice again instantly uh, we see that file, that test folder is removed. Again, I can delete this, and now the test folder is back. So adding these folder exclude and file exclude patterns to your user settings uh, can really enhance things. It can clean up this Sublime project. So now these files are only specifically excluded to this project itself, and these files are just excluded uh, application-wide because you're not going to need to edit them. So I found this is another uh, workflow boost, and um, it's been a really nice experience to use. So check it out. It's quick and easy to add. It literally takes a couple of seconds. Folder, exclude patterns, file, exclude patterns in your user preferences. As always, this is Scott. If you have any questions or you know anything, just hit us up on Twitter or Facebook or the Level Up Tuts forum. Ask away. We love to hear from you. We do get a ton of emails, so I can't really help with technical questions questions over email. Um, we do offer like private consulting and training and things like that. However, there is just such a volume of technical questions being asked via email. I can't possibly get to them all, especially uh, because this is not a full-time project of mine. This is just something I like to uh, produce for the community. So if you, again, if you have any questions, you know, let us know. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye.